Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Do we have an awesome video today because we finally get to talk about the new Low Pro FX Clipper and Trimmer. New tools are like candy to us. We literally will research and try to find more information about them until they come out. Everyone's curiosity seems to be at a high level when it comes to this new Low Pro, AKA previously known as the Graphite FX. At the time when it had its old name, we were still using a prototype version of that. Not sure when the new name was decided or why, but regardless, they are awesome. I'm always so excited to see the new tools coming out and Babeless just does an exceptional job at making new tools every single year that make our workflow even better. Having a great experience with your clients also means having great tools that you can actually rely on to do exactly what they're supposed to do. As with anything new, it's very important to give yourself some time to adjust. For one, new body and weight to adapt to, different blade stretch, type of blade, lever adjustment, and guard systems, just to name a few. Now, before we get into it, big shout out to the FX3 collection, which just launched in this last few weeks. It's been awesome to see people putting them to the test in their barbershops and salons. If you're interested in more information on that collection, you can check out my previous review here on YouTube for a closer look. So what's special about this low pro clipper? Is it gonna be the next best thing? Is it gonna beat out the wall magic clip? I guess you'll have to see for yourself when you get it in your hands. To give you an idea of when the release time would be for this, it could be from now until early next year, and that is the best answer that I can give you at the moment. So let's dive in and start with the clipper. You got a high torque brushless motor performing at 6800 RPMs, which sits at about in between the FX3's high and low speed. You got a two plus hour runtime with battery indicator light to give you a 15 minute warning before it shuts off. Here on the side, you get the five locking detent lever, Position kind of more like a traditional clipper. Side note about the locking detents, having this system in play makes the process of blending hair so much easier because you will always know where you're at. Super ergonomic feel in your hands with all of its indents to make it feel extremely comfortable while you're using it. Side power button, dual voltage feature, which many of the previous models have as well. So if I decided to take this to Europe, it would automatically adapt to their voltage system, which is nice because that means your clipper won't explode. You have a hanging hook option, topped off with a beautiful graphite wedge blade. Graphite material is ultra low friction, low blade temperature, and extremely durable. Very similar to our first silver wedge blade on the FX673 clipper from the past. Also, if you're into customizing your own clipper, you can download the app Babeless Pro Custom FX app and build your own colorway, and you can use the new feature, which is a gold titanium blade, which released not too long ago. The guards that will be coming with this tool is going to be the same one from the FX Metal Collection. There might be some new premium guards on the way, that will be available for this tool as well. If it's the ones I have been testing out, then I think you're really gonna love them. So as you can see, there's multiple tools available for all types of users out there. It's just a matter of picking the right ones for you that has the features you enjoy most. All of that greatness brings you to $179.99. This clipper weighs at about 2.6 pounds compared to the FX3 that weighs 1.3 pounds. Now let's move to the matching trimmer. This has a high torque brushless motor running at 6,800 RPMs compared to the FX3 trimmer that has 7,200 RPMs. So you can bet this one stays a bit cooler. Keep in mind, this is always gonna be the trade-off when you are using any tool with higher RPM speeds. Something that runs at a higher level will always tend to get warmer faster than something that runs a little slower because of the motor that is bouncing the blade from left to right. As warm as they get, it never comes to a burning blade like how they used to be back in the day. Newer blades today, especially from the Babeless brand, all have a coating on each of those blades that allow it to stay cooler. That's a big plus for us. You will also have a two plus hour cordless runtime on a full charge, the low battery indicator light that will give you a 15 minute warning, the 360 exposed T-blade that everyone is familiar with from all of the skeleton trimmers. We have carried that style of blade into our FX3 trimmer and now this one as well. If you are wondering what the exposed T-blade is for, the body of the trimmer is cut away a little further from the blade head to give you more space to maneuver into tighter areas around the head shape or the facial hair. Following the clipper, it also has an ergonomically feel in your hands with all of its finger indents. The body is a little shorter than the FX3 trimmer, so it'll feel really snug in your hands. Also, dual voltage for when you're traveling out of the country. 
you never know how important it is until you actually go out and remember that your tools can adapt to the voltage in another country on its own and it'll still perform how they're supposed to. You have the optional hanging hook topped off with a diamond carbon deep tooth 2.0 millimeter T-blade. That powerful little piece totals to 149.99 cents weighing at 1.27 pounds. Compared to the FX3 trimmer, that one weighs in at 1.3. So that's gonna be the specs list rundown for both items. So my next question is, how do you guys feel about the low pro effects? Drop it in the comments and tell me what you're thinking. Now let me show you a couple cuts that I've used this on in my video so you guys can see how it worked out for me. Out of curiosity, I did take the wedge blade off of this and put my graphite taper blade since it was my last favorite one to see if it made it better. Shockingly enough, I enjoyed the wedge blade more on that tool than the graphite taper blade, which says a lot for me. So now that it's out there, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my review and breakdown on this. Make sure to subscribe to catch upcoming videos and leave me any comments or questions about these tools below. I know I don't have to say it, but thank you to Babeless Pro again for allowing me to have an early grab at these to test and give my feedback and also giving me the ability to make these reviews to share with you guys here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.